Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my progress in Brighter Shores, as I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about wanting to know how and what I'm doing in Brighter Shores. So first off, you're going to be able to see on the right side of my page, um, let me type back to this guy, I always like to type back. Um, okay, so so on the right side of the page, you can see Chronopolis uh, is my focus right now. I'm at 541 total level in Chronopolis alone. And you can see 208 watch person or watchman. And then at uh, detective, we see 216. So we're seeing great levels in obviously the Chronopolis area because it is my main focus. But I do want to say now is finally the time for something big for this channel and really for my account altogether. Uh, so we're actually going to go over to Hopeport. And it's going to be time to finally buy our cave because we talked about in previous videos how the heck do I not have enough gold after having these levels to buy the level 200 cape? So you can see my tool belt, I finally have the three gold needed, which is going to be very helpful when you uh, want a cape yourself. So I actually sold my cape because I needed the gold, so I sold my lower tier cape. Um, but let's uh, let's actually sell some of our items right now on our way over. Oh yeah, I kind of forget I changed my my left click to be the what is it called the action that instantly does stuff so i actually have to use my right click now to sell stuff it's kind of interesting um but it's not a problem all right let's continue on let's run up here and uh we should drop these ivory swirls that we got as drops from where we were training let's drop these off here actually we don't trade for those we go to the it's been so long since i've been in hopeport guys i need to be back to hopeport more often I'm excited to come back to Hopeport after I kind of grind out what I'm trying to do here with the detective and watchman skill. But um, I know a lot of people spend all of their time in Hopeport, and I think the town is laid out so well that I, I really do want to come back and spend some time here. But let's get to the capes. So basically, we have detective cape, or we can buy the watchman cape. I'm going to kind of make a, you know, a full decision here once we get to the capes and actually look at uh, what they look like. So here we go into the cape shop. I don't know if anyone else has bought a level 200 cape yet in the chat. If you guys have in the comment section below, let me know what cape you actually bought. I'm very curious. So here we have the watch person cape at uh, the, let's make sure I have enough gold. I think I have enough gold now. Yeah, I do have enough gold, but not by a lot. Um, so I could get the watch person cape or I could get the detective cape. I think I'm going to get the detective cape just because I don't think many people go for the detective cape. A lot of people are going watch person. And I may switch back on the final um, cape at level 500 to the watch person first and then get detective. So I think I'm going to get the detective cape just to kind of have it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this bad boy on and see what it looks like. Let me run out here. And where's, where's our bag at? There we go. Equip. Okay, so now we've got the level 200 detective cape on. I really do like the way it looks. Um, I think the watch person cape after completed looks better probably. Um, so that's why I decided to get the level 200 detective cape and then the level 500 watch person cape is probably the way I'm going to go about it. So I kind of want to explain to you guys what my process is or my thought process is. So if we take a look at the detective profession, I've leveled up the handcuffs as much as I possibly can. And this is going to be the main way I'm going to gain XP in the detective profession. Because we've been in such a dry streak on Crime Den Raids, that 168 was the last one we were able to do. We're almost now to 219, which is going to be our Crime Den Raids. 219 is going to be huge for us. So what I might have to do is get this to level or three levels up um, to 219, but I also need my uh, combat to be decent enough and equipment to be decent enough to actually be able to uh, you know, beat the raids at level 219 when I hit that on the detective profession. So I gain about a level per night. When I use the passive, um, which the passive I use is level 209, that is going to be the evidence filing. I've been using that. It's really, really good XP overnight. So uh, I think I got like 2.2 mil last night or something like that. Maybe more than that. Uh, let's teleport, though, to the Chronopolis outskirts. We're going to check real quick, see if there's anything we can buy that is really, really good at the shop real quick. Uh, I don't even know if I have enough gold to buy, even if there is something nice, to be honest. 80 silver. I could maybe buy something, but I don't think so with 80 silver. We're going to check, though, just to make sure I'm not missing out. So this is something you should always be doing is checking Bladerix Armory. Definitely if you're using the Crime Den Raids to level because you're not going to be getting much loot odds or chances at loot. So we're going to run through this door. Go to Bladerix Armory. Another thing I want to mention, too, while we're doing this is uh, I don't have my ventures going. So make sure to always have your ventures going. So we're going to go do or start a detective venture here in just a second. But let's see. Okay, so all greens here, nothing nothing blue for the Chronopolis area, so definitely not something we're going to look into. 
and then we post it on the board. Level 194 gives us a pretty good amount of XP. So here is the XP drop of 63,000, and we also get about 20 silver, so pretty nice. Uh, but from here, I think I am going to try to actually kill, if we can teleport over there, the Chronopolis outskirts. We're going to teleport and try to actually kill these tigers for good loot because these tigers are level 218, which is about perfect for my level right now considering I'm level 218. If we can kill these tigers without using too many health pots, because I didn't even bring many health pots at this time, that is going to be the play because it's going to basically gear us up and get us ready for the Detective 219 Crime Dead Raid. So let's run over here real quick, see if we can kill these tigers. So I'm actually very curious if I'm going to be able to kill these tigers or not without using potions, uh, but let's start it off. So we actually have throwing hammers that do have Tempest Day damage, thankfully. So that's going to be the tiger's weakness. Um, but we do have an epic weapon. It just doesn't have Tempest Day damage. So I'm curious in seeing if we can actually kill this without using all of our potions. It took forever to attack there for that first attack. That was wild. I think I'm going to have to use potions, but we'll see. Um, this is a good, really good epic weapon that we got. Again, it's going to be, let's actually look at the info on this. It's going to be a 285 strength, 30% chance of doing Infernae damage. Unfortunately, useless here in this scenario. But we have um, also the, well, it sells for 610 silver, which is pretty crazy to see as the outright sell. Uh, but again, never sell these items because these are going to be worth so much when people are leveling and you have actual trading in the game. It looks like I'm going to be able to kill this one without dying. Oh. Okay, so I was not able to kill that one without dying. We're going to try one more time and see if the RNG was just against us. That seemed a little wild. We also stood there and didn't attack for like 10 seconds, it felt like, at one point. So we're going to see what happens if we go round two. Uh, that seemed very unlucky for the Tiger to hit, like, what, a 78 or 79 run up. And we may have to use potions again if we're going to fight these Tigers going for good loot, which, again, is not the greatest XP. If, you're, if you have to use potions, it's usually pretty bad XP. But it is going to be decent for getting good gear, which is going to be my biggest um, kind of stopper when it comes to getting into the Crime Den raids at level 219, because those mobs are going to be level 219, and if I can't kill these without potions, then those are not going to be very AFK, obviously, at all. So, uh, 816 is the health we got after the range attacks, which is not great. 733 now. It's going to be a close one, and I'm curious if we're going to have to use a lot of potions. Again, I only have 13 potions with me. I should have bought a lot more. At the time, I didn't have much gold because, again, we bought this detective cape, which, again, looks pretty sweet, but uh, is not going to help us doing any more damage than we already were doing. So, had to get it, but uh, we'll see how it pays off. So, so far, it's actually going pretty well. We're actually going to be able to kill this one, it looks like, without dying and without using a potion. I did seem like that first one was pretty bad RNG, and there we go, our first kill. So, 27,000 XP per. That's really, really good XP. And we're going to kite back using our hammers again. Hopefully we can get some Tempest Day damage hits off real early. Uh, again, I got this level 200 epic. I think I talked about this already, but I got this level 200 epic double-headed hammer over here with these spikies. And by the way, this place is unbelievable packed. Uh, spiky balls. People love this area because I'll tell you what, there was people everywhere when I was training this. But I did get the epic drop there, 285 strength, just huge, huge damage. So it's unfortunate it's not Tempest Day damage for us, but it looks like it's definitely going to be a potion this time around. Actually, I still think I lose even with a potion. Going to need some good RNG. There was a good RNG, 72 to a 19. Should give us the win. No way. We're going to lose. Okay, so we're going to focus a little more and do some more potting, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what we are kind of focusing in on uh, on today's video. Uh, but we did get the cape, so this is basically going to be a video just talking about the cape, where I'm at, what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to continue to train tigers. Going to need more potions, though, of course. Um, but with that, at level 219, we'll show you guys what it looks like finally getting to the next level of Crime Den Raids in the next video and showcasing uh, how much XP we're going to be getting and why... Crime Den Raids are literally one of the best activities in the game other than for loot. So a very, very cool little segment into what I've been doing. And hopefully you guys like this kind of content. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll make more videos kind of showcasing what I'm doing and, uh, you know, what needs to be done on my account before I can continue to progress. So uh, I want to say as well, we did actually get a quest done the other day called the Battle of Fortune Hold. So that was a nice little boost on the account. Um, it took a lot of knowledge points into Merchant and Leather Worker, but we are finally there. So very, very cool. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Sorry we could only get one Tiger Guild today. We'll get more here for you boys in the future.